So I just watched The Flash and let's just say, ew. <laughs> Well, okay, so I have a lot of problems with The Flash, and anytime I watch a movie, I go in with watching only one trailer, the first trailer they released, so I knew nothing about this movie going in at all. It's not bad, but it's not fucking good. My main problems with this movie is the CGI. Holy shit, is the CGI so fucking bad. And even the director was like, no, we, we made it look bad on purpose because, you know, the liar, da, da, da. When he's not running and it's just showing CGI, you know, there's no, like, him running, so you can't have the little, oh, but it's distortion from him running. It still looks fucking bad. It looks like people just, like, 3D scan shit and just put, like, the projection layer on top of it and just called it a day. It literally looks so fucking bad. The main problem I have with the beginning is when he runs and it's all, like, it's not going slow motion for anyone he's just like it's running at like normal speed but for him it's super fast but it's showing us that it's normal speed he's running a slow motion when it's normal speed it doesn't make sense he has a huge head in like multiple scenes due to his body just being full cgi so it just looks like it's floating and it's not like looking how it actually should it just looks like he has like a bobblehead for some reason and again andy muschetti the director oh well that's because um the light when he's running some of it's not even when he's running bro he just has like a big head it's really fucking odd a scene i really fucking hate was the whole baby scene gotham is like being terrorized batman's kind of busy with someone else he asked flash said hey man can you help me up with this barry's like oh but i gotta eat but i'll do it so he fucking does it he goes to gotham the babies just look fucking terrible the cgi is so fucking bad it literally does look like ps3 graphics i thought people were lying when they said it looks like ps3 graphics but no it literally looks like PS3 graphics. He puts a baby inside the microwave while the microwave is still going. So the baby would have been fucking cooked. So I don't know. He just killed a baby right there. And then later in the movie, you know, they set this president that, hey, normal people, if the flash moves them real fast, they'll throw up like a lot of like serious damage will happen to them. Well, he's over here just pushing these babies using his speed and all that and catching a girl like full speed so um he just killed all those babies with baby shake syndrome so uh, pff, i don't know the flash is a killer in this movie fucking apparently batman batman's in this movie i love batman not this batman um i do like him and um batman v superman think he's pretty fucking cool love that love that costume um this costume not so much this costume looks like it was made to sell toys. It looks really fucking bad. I don't know why they always keep switching his fucking costume. And it's like, it's the same problem that they had with the 90s and like the comics with everything with Batman is, oh, well, we keep giving them different costumes just so we can sell toys. Let's stop. Um, just give him his fucking original Batman v Superman costume and call it a day. This is probably the last time that we're going to see this fucking Batman, but you could have just gave him his good fucking suit instead of this crappy fucking little armored like cheapo suit like what are you doing iris west in this movie is an asshole she's not important to this movie at all they kind of try to set her up like oh she's gonna be super important into this movie she means so much to barry She's barely in this movie. She's in like three scenes. And for some reason, she doesn't know that he's the Flash, even though that she's seen his face before in the Snyderverse cut, which is the cut that they're basically going off of because they reference it a lot in this movie. So how does she not know that Barry's the Flash? No one did their homework. They did like their homework with like certain shit, but I guess forgot the rest of it. And like they try to set her up to be like, oh, she's just so daring to Barry barry's heart and then she's not even in the fucking movie she's not and she's in the beginning and the end that's it she was a waste of space there didn't need to be any fucking like branching storyline for them even though there really wasn't a branching storyline it was just like hey you know iris west yeah whatever they just disregarded her the whole time they mentioned her one time throughout the movie when she's not like shown or anything and that's it that's literally it 
But yes, she's an ass. Like she starts talking to Barry in the beginning of the movie and talking about his dad. Cause you know, everyone knows that Barry's dad was wrongfully put in prison. We know the story. It's one of the most fucking simple, like origin stories of the flash. If you know flash, you know the story. Well, they bring it up and she's kind of just an asshole to him about it. And it's like, um, how even my younger cousin that I brought to the movies with me, he was like, she's an ass, huh? And I was like, uh, yeah, she is a fucking ass. Why is she bringing up his dad? So like trying to imply that he murdered his mom. Jesus fuck. And a big plot point with this is Barry has footage of his dad since his dad is in jail for killing his mom. And they have footage of him being in the store at the time that his mom was stabbed. But they only have one camera angle where you can't see the dad's face. And, you know, my logical self is, so, you know, why isn't there other camera angles or other different cameras, you know, in general? Why is it just one camera right through there? You think there'd be a camera in, like, entrance or maybe, or like, something else, you know? Why is it only just one shelf? But if you think that logically, um, go fuck yourself because the flash says, um, no, there's only one camera and we're just going to fix it by, um, fucking up the timeline again. That's one thing in this fucking movie. Barry just doesn't get the concept of time travel and like the butterfly effect. He acts like he does, but he's just talking out his fucking ass because He's like, oh, yeah, no, I can't make any indirect contact with anyone. But he has a convo with Bruce before he goes back in time and messes with anything. And Bruce tells him, yeah, you can't touch, like, a plate of grass or anything because it will just fuck up everything. The small, tiny little things will fuck up everything. And Barry's dumb ass is like, oh, yeah, so don't interact with anyone. Like, no, he literally just said, like, the most, like, obscure thing, like, you move a water bottle or some shit, it will fuck up the whole timeline. And Barry just doesn't get it. Barry is a fucking super smart character in DC Comics. Even before he had his powers, he was smart. And they try to make this Barry seem like he's smart, but at the same time, he's a fucking dumbass that doesn't get simple concepts at all. Oh, by the way, you know the little floating head thing that they showed in Thor Love and Thunder? Yeah, the best Marvel movie to come out in a while. <laughs> um, they do it again in here, man. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Why do they think it looks good? Why do studios keep doing this? Stop the floating head thing. It looks fucking stupid. The only, like, acceptable floating head is maybe, like, I don't know, Wizard of Oz. That does it nice. Or fucking, you know, I could see a Green Lantern movie getting away with it using the fucking council as, like, floating heads. That's it. Why, 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 why does everyone want to keep using a fucking floating head and it just looks fucking ass? Do you not learn from fucking Thor Love and Thunder? Like, they pushed this movie back so many times, you would think, like... Oh, they did a floating head and people fucking hated it. Oh, we have a floating head too. Maybe we shouldn't do the floating head. But no, they just keep it in. Why? And another little notes. You know, I was writing notes when watching this movie. I was trying to take my job a little seriously, you know? And um, I'd put, the graphics look so bad. Again. Because, oh, dude. Oh my god. Well, they pushed this movie back so many fucking times and couldn't fix the CGI and make it like better. Like what, what was the whole like setbacks for y'all didn't do nothing when they're being set back and Ezra Miller was terrorizing the fucking country. Like that would have been a nice time to fucking, you know, mess with the CGI. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just someone who, you know, has a couple little thoughts in his head sometimes and, you know, what what do I know about making movies and, you know, utilizing your fucking time to make something look actually better? A thing that you see constantly is Barry and Barry 2. Yeah, by the way, time travel. I don't even want to fucking get into it. It's fucking stupid. Anytime they're like in a predicament, like, oh, they're trapped in their house with their parents and they kind of need to get out without being like suspicious or they need to get in or, oh no, we're at a police station. Let's show how we get out of this predicament while guards are surrounding everywhere. Nope. They just get out of everything. Don't show anything of like how they get out of it. The only like thing they showed about getting into it was when there was like no guards at all in the police station they faced through. That's it. Other than that, they didn't show how the fuck they got out of the police station when Barry won, the main Barry, 
had no powers and the other Barry did have powers, but he didn't know how to phase or do anything. He didn't run. So how the fuck did they get out of that? Did they just cut that out of the movie or did they even film it? Like, why? Why is that not in there at all? That's kind of like, that'd be kind of cool to see like, hey, let's show how smart this Barry is. He doesn't have his powers. Let's show him improvise how the fuck to get out of here. They don't care. They don't care at all. They don't show it. They just cut to the next scene and they're already out. But I do think it's cool that, you know, this is part of the Snyderverse or somewhat fucking connected to it. <sighs> this writing is ass with consistency. But they show that Barry was actually there during the Man of Steel movie. I actually like that. I think that's pretty fucking cool to show how it's connected. It's not like a major big like plot point. We're always saying like, oh, well, if this superhero was there, where's all the other superheroes? And it shows that, you know, Batman was there trying to help people. Barry was there trying to help people. And... He just couldn't do much, which is like, cool. It kind of makes him like, oh shit. Like he's new. He was scared. He didn't know what he was doing. He saved someone, but it was just a little bit too much for him to actually like process and become a hero. That's actually cool. That's one thing I did fucking like. And another thing I did like is the Batman theme song. They did Michael Keaton. The first half of Michael Keaton in this movie was pretty good. And then they just make him a fucking retard blowing himself up and constantly killing himself. Non-fucking stop. He's just really fucking suicidal in this movie, apparently. They kind of just flopped at the very, like, the writing in general was not good, this movie. Once they hit the, like, the climax part, it just completely just fucking dropped off, like, terribly. And one thing I did notice with Barry, you know, in the comics, the yellow lightning usually means that he has, like, a standard connection. The blue lightning is more of, like, you have a pure connection to Speed Force. I know that Snyder had the blue lightning for Barry in the Justice movie, but in this one, he has yellow lightning, and I was like, okay, well, you know, what's the explanation for this? And they don't explain it at all. N not at all. When he's wearing the suit, like the actual main suit, like the new one, um, he just suddenly has yellow lightning. But when he takes it off, he doesn't have yellow lightning. He has blue lightning. And then when Barry 2, the Barry from the different world, just has blue. And then when he puts on the suit, it's just yellow. So I guess the suit just makes it yellow. They, <laughs> they just don't explain shit. When Superwoman hits, when she first gets out, you know, when she hits, for some reason, I don't know why, what's up with, like, their, like, motion in this movie? Like, when she hits my fuckers, they're just, like, going slow motion. Like, you'd think they'd be going fucking fast, zooming, you know, got hit by fucking Supergirl. Like, oh, shit, that's gonna be a hard punch. You know, they're flying, but they're going, like, slow fucking motion. And I guess it just has to do with the CGI. It's just bad, bad CGI. Why? Why would they do this? I... <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But one thing I fucking did hate was Supergirl, which she got captured by the Russians. You know, she has a little distaste for humans. Her and Barry are talking about, like, why she should, like, help out. She goes, well, Zod will kill billions of people. Nice people. And Barry's like, yeah, 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 nice people. Like, But then she says she doesn't care because she's not human and just leaves she like talks to him acting like you know oh she can sympathize with it but then she's like i don't care he's gonna kill billions of people i don't care i'm not human fuck you and then like flies off and then she goes to zod sees zod kill like a hundred people and then she's like oh shit maybe i should help out like you knew he that's what he was gonna do but then you finally see it and you're like oh fuck yeah Ow, maybe I should help. Like, you knew he what he was going to do from the get-go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> How did him just seeing it in person change your mind? You knew he was doing that. You knew he was going to do that. It doesn't make fucking sense at all. It's just bad character writing. She didn't really talk that much. They just kind of, like, forced her into this movie. Like, she wasn't, like, a main character. If they didn't have her in this at all... I wouldn't care at all. She helps Barry get his powers back, and that's about the only, like, momentum thing that, like, keeps the story moving. The movie basically is, let's go to point A. Oh, that's not what it seems. Okay, well, let's go to point B. Oh, that's not what it seems. Oh, let's go to point C. Oh, that's not what it seems. Well, 
since I already know nothing's going to be what it seems, how about I go to point D and think that it's going to be what it seems and it's not what it seems. You keep trying to use the same tactic on us, but we know that it's not going to be the same thing that you think that we think that it's going to be. The writers are treating us like we're stupid. And I might be stupid, but I'm not that stupid, all right? And after Barry, you know, for some reason not understanding the butterfly effect at all, just going and fucking up the timeline constantly over and over, he thinks, you know, I can fix this. I can fix this right now. So what does he do? Fucks up the timeline again. He doesn't learn from his mistakes. They're not doing like a conventional like time travel, like, oh, if you go to this point in time, you fuck something up, everything in the future will be fucked up. It's if you fuck something up at this point in time, well, everything from the past and future will be fucked up. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, the ending because of it is fucking stupid. And I'm like, okay, well, fuck. Cameos. You already know I don't like fan service. Uh, it's cool to have cameos, you know, like Michael Keaton. He was part of the story, you know, he actually contributed. But just having random cameos and just bringing motherfuckers from the dead for a fucking worthless cameo? What the fuck are you doing, dog? Why? Why? Why would you do this? It just doesn't make sense. They're bringing fucking Christopher Reeves back from the dead just so he can stare. in terrible CGI, by the way. He looks fucking terrible. And he's just like looking at the world like, oh, everything's fucking up. Like, and then they bring Nicolas Cage with this, which they said that, hey, we brought Nicolas Cage in person to do this. It doesn't look like it. It is fucking so bad. And all the time that they've had with this movie, there's no reason that it should be this fucking terrible. The writing's terrible. The graphics are terrible. CGI, everything is just fucking ass. The suit kind of grew on me a little, but it looks fucking terrible, dude. It's just, he's wearing this like fucking rubber plastic. It looks fucking stupid. Everything in this fucking movie looks stupid. Even his running is fucking stupid. The only time it looks good and normal is when it's the new Barry number two running for the first time. He's running how the Flash should fucking run. They even make fun of how Barry runs, the first Barry runs, in this movie. And it looks fucking stupid in motion. It doesn't make sense. I want to see the normal Flash where if he's running normal speed, it's running real fucking fast, you know. It's not fucking, he's fucking skiing down the fucking sled or some shit. Like, he's ice skating. I don't want to see that. Why is that a fucking thing? Get rid of that. I'm so glad that they ended this movie on like a different universe where George Clooney is the Batman because get the fuck rid of this flash. You know, they said that they're not going to do a flash without Ezra Miller. Fuck that. That flash is stuck in that fucking universe. Leave him the fuck alone. This new coming DC universe. Use someone different, bro. Use Grant Gustin. He has proven to be fucking good. Just use him. Who gives a fuck? Just use him or use someone else. Don't use Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller is ass at this, okay? We don't need to see that any fucking more. Fucking story is ass. His writing has always been ass. His fucking acting has always been ass. The only time he was actually good was kind of in this movie when he was had to be mature. When he had to be mature. But other than that, it's not the same Flash that, you know, makes jokes and like quippy and like he's a smart ass. This Flash is like a fucking bitch who's always complaining, always getting hurt. You know, it's, he's just not funny. This is not the Flash that I know. It's not fucking Barry Flash. It's not even close to fucking Wally Flash. Ezra is in a different lane and Ezra is not a good fucking Flash. Don't use Ezra as the Flash no more. Leave Barry in that fucking multiverse and get the fuck out of here. Movies today, for some reason, all about the fucking multiverse, all about cameos, fan service. I'm tired of it, dude. I am so fucking tired of it. All this nostalgia shit that they're still going. Like, we're past the fucking nostalgia train with fucking Stranger Things. Hit. Like, we're past with that, bro. We're done. Give us some good fucking stories. Stop using Flashpoint shit. We've already seen Flashpoint be played the fuck out. I'm tired of it. I love The Flash, but I'm fucking tired of Flashpoint. We've seen it in too many fucking mediums, too many movies, too many shows. We're done with it. Drop it. If you're not going to fucking give Barry a good, or Wally, if you're not going to give them a good fucking story, don't fucking use them. And it seems like everyone is done with the fucking multiverse. We don't need this multiverse shit. I'm just tired with this movie storytelling. The stakes aren't too high anymore and they're not on the street level like Spider-Man. 
everything is just multiverse this multiverse that i want grounded like condensed stories i want fucking the daredevil type stories the early spider-man type stories where it was small but not too small but anyway guys i kind of did this video a little bit more professional i wrote down notes that's it and like little bullet points but i'm not writing the script it's more of just rants on this i want to keep it candid and like real I don't want to fucking make a whole ass script and just make this like me reading this whole script. I, I want to show my emotions and how I feel about shit and it might fucking be all over the place. It's something I like there. Of course there will be videos where I write scripts, but these just won't be it. I just, I'm just trying to be me. You feel me? <laughs> anyway, guys, my name is comics from AVT and I'm out. Peace.